better late than never, they say. Welcome to SCW. Today, going to be answering what is a match of the year in 2022. Myself and a host of top content creators will be on this channel giving our vote for match of the year. Now, this video was supposed to be out in December. You could say my match of the year was the flu when I was supposed to be releasing this video. But thankfully, feeling all better now and thankful to everybody who contributed to be a part of this video. Support every channel that is involved here today with the links in the descriptions of this video. Click on those links, subscribe to those channels and support all the terrific content by everyone who is involved here today. But how this video is gonna work? Well, one by one, we're all gonna give our vote what is match of the year in 2022. At the end of the video, we will see the leaderboard and we will see who is the match of the year. So let's not waste any time and kick things straight up then with a great wrestling mind. You can find him on Twitch at our local establishment. It is none other than Mr. Ed Fries. Thank you again, Steve, for having me here. And I'm here with my match of the year. This one was a tough one. I had to get some help from my friend Lauren Goodnight of the Tom Collihue Discord community to help me put together some of these different matches. I thought about going with Carmelo Hayes versus Ricochet from Worlds Collide. I thought about going with Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins from Night One of WrestleMania. I thought about going with Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins from Hell in the Cell because that was an incredible match as well. But when the end of the day comes, for the biggest shock in the world, the NXT guy, the WWE guy, is taking an AEW match as my match of the year. My match of the year is John Moxley versus Wheeler Yuta on Rampage. This match was epic. No match better. This put Wheeler Yuta on the map. Match of the year, no problem. Thank you again, Steve, for having me. You can find me at our local establishment on Twitch. And what a match that was as well. Great story told for our, like you say, Will Uta was made in that match as well. And of course, well, he ended up becoming a part of the Blackpool Combat Club. Big thank you to Ed Fryers there. Fantastic selection. But will that be the number one at the end of this video? Well, the only way to find out is to continue to get more guests on and to give their match of the year for 2022. So without further ado, let's get our next guest on. And she is one of the hardest working in our wrestling community. She's got great interviews on her channel with Astrid Ars. It is the one, the only Astrid Pizarro here on SCW. Hello, this is Astrid from OLE Pods and Backbreaker Media. Uh, for match of the year, it's so hard to think back on what happened in January at this point. It was so long ago. Uh, but one that's happened not too long ago is definitely uh, Speedball Mike Bailey versus Josh Alexander, the walking weapon. It just having an impact of this past week. And it was a whole hour match. And I love how it was implemented on our weekly TV. And it just happened like out of nowhere. And it was an incredible performance by both of them. And they also just released the one with uh, no ads. So it's just a whole hour for an incredible match. Just on a weekly television show like this. And it was not even advertised before here, which is incredible to think about. Um, but I feel like they both did an incredible job. And just to think like they wrestled for a whole hour. I can't even imagine doing that, to be honest. But definitely my match of the year is definitely that one. Big thank you there to Astrid Bazaar. Oh, what a match choice. Loving the Impact Wrestling shout as well. What a great match that was with Josh Alexander and Speedball Mike Bailey. Like she said, available on YouTube to go and check out the full match of our adverts now. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend it. It is a banger. But now it's time to go through a few entries before you see my face again. Some very talented content creators on the way. Like I say, forgive me, this video was supposed to be out in December, so you might find one or two giveaways of that in the next couple of entries. Starting off potentially with a Christmas tree. I'm pretty sure that it's not set up in February. Well, maybe we can ask him myself. NX Steve, one of the regulars on this channel, giving his match of the year here on SC Dub. Steve, happy holidays to you and to everyone watching this video on the SCW channel. Uh, this time you would like to know my favorite match of 2022. Um, if you've seen who my favorite wrestler of the year is, it's not actually going to involve this guy. Um, it's actually going to be Cody versus Seth and Helen Cell. The match is just, it just simply hits here more for me. The storytelling is just unreal. The fact that Cody's got that torn peck, the way that Seth is able to work and protect Cody in that match, just simply fantastic and I will go back and watch it so many times because it just simply is amazing. So yeah, for me, my match of 2022, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Hell in a Cell. Uh, thanks for, mate, for having me on and I'll speak to you soon. 
What's up, people? It's your boy Mex, the WrestleManiac, if you will. And it's that time of year where we start kind of rounding up everything. And the question is, what was the match of the year? What was the match of 2022? And I'm gonna go with another match that's maybe a bit outside the box, but I saw it live, and there's nothing better than seeing wrestling live. Will Ospreay versus Michael Oku for the Rev Pro British Heavyweight Championship. Bethnal Green, York Hall. I was there. I was there and I saw an absolute stellar match take place. I saw a five-star match. Dave Meltzer rated it five stars. Like, the action of these two men, of Will Ospreay and Michael Oku, is one thing. But the drama that this match had was incredible. For those that have seen it, I've got a vlog on my channel of me being there, of this match, this main event. Oh my God, it was absolutely outstanding. Like I say, everyone left feeling like, oh my God, like Michael Luka should have won. He didn't. Osprey retained. They then debuted the new British Heavyweight Championship straight after. Oh my God, I'm just getting the feels thinking of it now. Will Osprey versus Michael Luka. That is the match of the year. Our match of the year, well, my match of the year actually um, is a nod to your superstar of the year because my match of the year had to be Helen Cell with Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. Brutal, severe pain inflicted in that match, but um, one for the ages and definitely my highlight of 2022. Mm -hmm. and yeah. For you? Uh, match of the year uh, is going to be. Uh, Probably, it's in some people's lists, uh, it's probably not in everybody's, but it's uh, Sami Zayn and Johnny Knoxville jackass match at WrestleMania. I think it was amazing. Um, not because it was a technical masterpiece, obviously, but it just lived up to so much hype, you know, mm. you know, having outsiders involved in wrestling, which have always been involved. Um, it was just so good. It, it was done so well, and, it, and as you can tell, after the match, like, Sami's career just excelled. Like, he, you know, he got that, uh, that rub from the the backstage crew and he's been getting better ever since so that's my match of the year i had to work hard with match of the year not to say sammy Zayn and johnny knoxville mentioned it earlier but you have to mention it as many times as possible it was great fun i'm not going to say it's the match of the year though i'm going to let cooler heads prevail and i'm going to say sheamus versus gunter because oh my word that was brutality in its finest form I've been a big fan of Gunter since his Volta days here on the UK scene and I just absolutely love everything he has ever done. Add in Seamus, my fellow countryman, although I'm Northern Ireland and, and his republics are not quite the same country, uh, I do believe that those two were sort of a match made in heaven and uh, you add in some uh, Japanese wrestlers like the Murder Grandpa and I, I struggle to keep my cool at how amazing it could be. We had a hell of a spectacle with those two and they haven't overdone it either, which has been a great thing since. Some amazing choices there. Big thank you to Mr. Tom Colhue, Irish Wrestling Entertainment, WrestleManic UK and NX Steve. Some brilliant matches that have been chosen by some top content creators. Let's see a little leaderboard of where we stand so far. And Cody Rhodes versus Seth freaking Rollins from Hell in a Cell is in the lead at the moment with two votes, but we have a whopping five matches with one vote. Each. We've got John Moxley versus Wheeler Yuta from Rampage. We've got Josh Alexander versus Speedball Mike Bailey from Impact Wrestling. We've got Will Ospreay versus Michael Woku. Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn from WrestleMania 38. And Gunter versus Sheamus from Clash at the Castle. So that's the standings so far there. What match will be match of the year in 2022? There's only one way to find out. You need to stick around to the end of the video. And we've got some great content creators on the way for now. Starting with someone who's live streaming so, so much. He's all the time on YouTube. I call him Mr. No Days Off. Very talented as well with his wrestling opinions. It is the one, the only Tino's time in the house here on SCW. What was the match of the year? In any promotion, in anything, and... I'm going to say the match of the year, in my opinion, this might just be me because it's bias, but I got to go with Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins at Hell in the Cell this past year, this summer in June. I was there live in Chicago and seeing what Co Cody Rhodes did 
with a broken wing, having a torn pack, having that, just, just seeing what he went through, and I could not imagine that pain. Him and Seth Rollins put on an absolute great show. It was a great main event. The storyline was fantastic. Everything from WrestleMania to then was great. And I can't wait to see Cody Rhodes come back in the, hopefully the 2023 Royal Rumble. But the Hell in the Cell match in June at the pay-per-view live in Chicago, Illinois at the Allstate Arena is my match of the year because it was awesome. And that's it. So again, thank you, Steve, for letting me be a part of this video. And thank you guys all. And remember, go follow us on at Tino's Time 1996 on all your social media. What is going on, everybody? It is Kyle Gagliardi once again from the On The Mark Wrestling Podcast. And this time, SCW Steve is asking, what is the match of the year? And I'm definitely going to talk about the matches of the year in our final episode of 2022 of the On The Mark Wrestling Podcast, the annual OTMEs where we give our year-end awards. Please tune in and check out our socials at Pod On The Mark. But enough of my podcast. This is about what Steve is asking, and he wants to know match of the year there are plenty of candidates there is a lot of good wrestling going around here in 2022 i wanted to go in the direction of cody rhodes versus seth rollins as i'm sure a lot of people already have in this video but for me personally and it may be just because i was there in person it happened at forbidden door and it was orange cassidy versus will osprey my first time seeing will osprey perform in person and it was a treat Plus, Orange Cassidy, you know, quietly is having some of the best matches over the past couple of years. So for me personally, the match of the year for 2022 is Will Ospreay versus Orange Cassidy at the Forbidden Door pay-per-view. Uh, match of the year to me has got to be Hell in a Cell, Cody versus Seth. Uh, all the emotion involved, the storyline, the, the real-life injury, him persevering through the torn peck, all that. I thought that was great stuff. And I think that one had the most emotion off the top of the head off the top of my head and i think that's the best match of the year 2022 massive thank you there from a rated r for wrestling too sweet kyle from otm on the mark wrestling podcast and tina's time with some more great selections uh, but looking at the leaderboard as you can see running away with four votes and yes it will be proclaimed as match of the year cody rhodes versus seth freaking rollins with four votes there the rest of the matches all getting one vote each. The only new addition there from the Forbidden Door show, Will Ospreay versus Orange Cassidy. So yeah, we know the match of the year. And do you know what? I'm going to give me my match of the year for you right now. And I'm going to agree with everyone that voted for Cody versus Seth freaking Rollins. Because, well, the, the injury was unfortunate timing. It put Cody on the show for a long time. Obviously now recording this in February, we know he's come back. He's won the Royal Rumble. Uh, so obviously he's come back quicker than expected but at the time for Cody he'd just come back it felt like a major blow but still go through with the match anyway it just added a realism feel to Hell in a Cell for the first time in a long time Hell in a Cell felt like Hell in a Cell you felt every move every moment you could tell Cody was in a lot of pain there was no need to suspend your disbelief watching that Hell in a Cell match it was gruesome it made you wince uh, you know, you just, you felt the moment. You were like you were in the match. I was captivated. I couldn't look anywhere else, even at points when you felt that perhaps you felt the need to look away. Cody versus Seth Rick and Rollins inside Hell in a Cell was a beautiful disaster. And we have to say it takes two to tango. Seth Rick and Rollins made that as safe as match as possible for Cody Rhodes. Made a fantastic match as well. Both of them told a terrific story, like I say, uh, despite the circumstances. And they made that an absolute five star classic hence why it has mine and the channel's vote with everyone that's voted together as the match of the year for 2022 so that's what we think it's time to let us know what you think now in the comments below what is your match of the year for 2022 let me know have we got it right or have we got it wrong it's now time for your input if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button consider sharing with a friend as well and subscribe to the channel as well i want to say as well a big Thank you and shout out to everyone that got involved on this video. A massive apology that it took so long to get this video out, but I do appreciate everybody's patience. And like I say, go and support every single channel that's been involved in this video. There's some great content creators, some amazing stuff being done on all those channels. If you're not subscribed to them and you're not checking them out, I promise you, you are missing out. 
But check out some of the videos on the side of your screen right now. We have, of course, on the road to WrestleMania now, Elimination Chamber. And of course, WrestleMania theme videos will be on the way. So make sure to stay tuned here on the channel. Turn on notifications. And uh, yeah, like I say, have yourselves a great day. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time. All the best.